Welcome back, everyone. Joining me now is Darren Spindler from Fitness Renegades. He's a fitness expert working to help Northeast Wisconsinites get healthier. And today you've brought in a couple props to tell us a little bit about drinking water and the importance of that in your diet. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about drinking water because one of the things that uh, when folks are starting to kind of get in a fitness regimen, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't drink enough water. So Yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah, so what I brought along today are a couple of big water bottles because uh, it's important for us. We try to teach people to carry a big water bottle with them. So this right. one's like 35 ounces. I think this one's like 20 and that one might be so about 20 So one of those well. a day is sufficient? Um, typically, we actually recommend about half your body weight in water every day. So quite a bit more than what's on the table. And, um, you know, when we ask most people how much water Water they drink, you know, they'll tell us two or three glasses a day, and they're small glasses. So our goal is to really up their water intake quite a bit uh, compared to what they're typically used to. So by carrying these with you, especially with to work and in your car, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to keep that water intake up and really not think about it. Okay, and then you've got some other things here that you've brought with us today. I think I see a, uh, is this a food log? Yeah, so it's a fitness journal actually, and okay. we can we can track both your food intake on here. So last week we talked about food, right? So right. one of the things that's important is as we're trying to make changes in our diet um, to really kind of document that so we can see where we're at. So if you come to somebody like us or anybody else, you can say, yeah, I ate, you know, like we always tell people, if you ate four brownies last night, tell us you ate four brownies. If you ate one, So not necessarily one. documenting calories, more like documenting what you're eating. Yeah, what you're eating. So if you're eating wheat thins, like last week we talked about that, put wheat thins down. If you're eating snacks like almonds, put almonds down. That way we can really see, because some people say, well, I'm really And you're eating. more aware that way. Right, it, you're definitely more aware. and It shows um, success rate with diet and nutrition by writing it down you're a lot more likely to succeed and keep it stick. The other thing I brought along today is last week we talked about clean eating, right? So we right. brought along our cheat sheets because a and lot of people don't know this. That is something that you're going to be able to find on getfitnew.com. That and more on their website. Thank you, Darren, for coming in. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. 